everybody. I am Miss Lori, and we are from Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church here in Springfield, Illinois. And we are on week nine, I believe. Yeah, week nine of Celebrate Wonder. So, this week we're talking about how we are different and how we're unique. And we have here two dogs. Yep, two dogs. Both dogs. They're both girls. But they're very different. Some of it you can see how they're different. One is big, one is little. Okay, everybody. We are here ready to talk about how we are unique today. But first, we have to light our wonder table candle. Okay? Remember, I do this, not you. We light the lamp, we light the candle, not the lamb. Yeah. Perfect. So, hey, Laurie. Hey, Lon. How are Hi. you all today? Hi. Hi. It's Pastor Meredith from Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Hi. What we're are you good. Up to? We're, we're good. Just kind of, you know, recovering from Halloween oh, still, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big day. Lots of fun. Yeah. And it's November. That's so cool. It's a lot. I know. Right? Okay. So, we're different. Well, this is true. Well spotted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lamb. Person. Oh, I was going to go with blue eyes, black eyes, but okay, okay. sure. Person, lamb. Got it. Mm hmm. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Being different is cool. I think so. You and I are different. Yeah. Very unique. Yes. We do have on our matching yeah. t shirts today. So that's not different, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But let's see. I have brown eyes. I have blue eyes. Mm hmm. Yeah. And what's your name? My name is Lori. My name is Meredith. Mm hmm. And I was born and raised here in Springfield. Well, I was born and raised in Austin, Texas. That's different. That is different. Mm. Yeah, but that's cool. It is cool. Because if everybody was the same, that would be boring. Yeah. We, we have lots of things that are in common, like two legs and two feet and mm -hmm. arms and stuff, but our skin tones are different and our hair is different and our mm -hmm. eyes are different and our ear shapes are different and where we've lived has been different. Mm -hmm. We like to do different things, too, I'll bet. Yeah, but probably some of the same things, too. Mm -hmm. But it's good to be different. Mm -hmm. Makes us unique. You guys know what unique means? That means special and specially created. So what makes you special? What makes me special? Well, I think my family has made me special because the people that I grew up with, I think that... Um, you know, I love music and I love to sing. I think that makes me special. And you're really good at that, too. Oh, well, that's awfully kind of mm -hmm. you. Yeah. What makes you special? Uh, you know, I think I think kind of the same thing. My family and all of the different people that, you know, we have, we've come across over the years, I think, makes me special. Um, I like to sing, but I'm not really that great at it. But I do like to bake, and I'm, I'm okay Ooh. at that. I'm so glad, because yeah. I like to eat. Exactly. Yes, so does my family. See, so it works that, out. That works out. Of All of the things that were too. unique that make us unique are important. Mm -hmm. And they make yeah. us special. And we need to be different because that is how we see all of God's wonderful difference in creation in the world. How different and wonderfully and varied it is. We've talked about that here at uh, Celebrate Wonder. Yeah, they even talk about that in the Bible. They do talk about that in the they Bible. They do. Today, our Bible story tells us about two brothers that are born, Jacob and Esau, Mm -hmm. to Isaac, who we've been talking about before. Remember, Isaac was the son of Abraham and Sarah that was much promised and, and is a sign of the blessing that God gave to Abraham and Sarah. But now we've moved on in our story to the birth of Jacob and Esau to Isaac. They're twin brothers. But we learn in our Bible story today that even though they're twin brothers and they're as closely related as two people can be, that they are very different. They look different. The way they approach the world is different. They struggle together, all of those things. But we learn that it's important that they are made different and that God has done that on purpose and that that's really a beautiful and wonderful thing. Just like me and Laurie are different and yeah. Laura the Lamb is different. And you are different and unique and wonderful and fabulous and special and different just as you are. And that's important and we love that. Yeah, it's really kind of neat because Laud talked about that in small talk last Sunday when he was still dressed as a squirrel. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you were. Mm -hmm. We saw. Mm -hmm. Well, should we roll the Wonder Cube? I think we should. Okay, I'm going to roll the Wonder Cube. Everybody remember you have a Wonder Cube at home. When you read your Bible story, and we hope that you'll do that together, you and your household, then roll your Wonder Cube to ask some questions. Oh, we did that one last week. I'm rolling different. Oh, we did that one the week before. Okay, here we go. Ah, we're going to go with the green one. I wonder, where did you see God in the Bible story? Hmm, that's a good one. That is a good one. I think we see him where he makes all of us, mm -hmm. and he makes us all different. Mm -hmm. That's where I saw him. I do too, in that um, everyone and their uniqueness and difference, that just shows how creative God is. That's pretty cool. Do you want to roll? He's really creative. I'm saying. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think we've, we've done that one a lot. Oh, we haven't done Ooh. Oh, if you could be any character in the Bible story, what character would you be and why? I know who I would want to be. I'd want to be Esau, who in the story gets born first, because I'd want to get out of there first. <laughs> good answer. Thanks. Very good answer. Yeah. Well, I think, I think I'd say the same thing. <laughs> but, you know what? I was the second child in my household, and I kind of liked that. I did. I have an older brother, and I kind of liked being, being the younger one. Nice. So, Know, maybe I'd want to be the second child. Maybe you guys can talk about that in your household. Yeah. All of those things that make you different and what uh, character you'd like to be in the Bible story when you roll your wonder cube. Well, should we pray? I think we should pray before we go on to okay. our video. Let's pray. Let's do it. All right. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For making me special. For making me special. Amen. Amen. Okay, it's time for our Bible story video, so let's get really close and watch and see what we have today. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Frank, how do you think, Luna? Luna's like, like, okay. Whatever, I got treats. I got a lot of treats, that was great. Oh. One is brown and white, and the other one is black and white. One is a Shih Tzu, and one is a Boxer. But they're both dogs, but they're very unique. Even their personalities are unique. You can probably see that, right? So today, that's what we're talking about. Is that okay with you, Luna? Is that okay with you, Oreo? Yeah? All right, I think Luna's ready to go get started. See you inside. Okay, everybody. We are here ready to talk about how we are unique today. But first, we have to light our Wonder Table candle, okay? Remember, I do this, not you. We light the lamp, we light the candle, not the lamb. Yeah, perfect. So, hey, hey Laurie, hey, Lon, how are hi. you all today? Hi, hi. it's Pastor Meredith from Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Hi, what We're are you good. up to? We're good, just kind of, you know, recovering from Halloween still, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big day. Lots of fun. Yeah. And it's November. That's so cool. It's a lot. I know, right? Okay. So, we're different. Well, this is true. Well spotted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lamb person. Oh, I was going to go with blue eyes, black eyes, but okay. okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Person, lamb. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Being different is cool. I think so. You and I are different. Yeah. Very unique. Yes. We do have on our matching yeah. t-shirts today. So that's not different, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But let's see. I have brown eyes. I have blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's your name? My name is Lori. My name is Meredith. Mm -hmm. And I was born and raised here in Springfield. Well, I was born and raised in Austin, Texas. That's different. That is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's cool. It is cool. Because if everybody was the same, that would be boring yeah we we have lots of things that are in common like two legs and two feet and mm -hmm. arms and stuff but our skin tones are different and our hair is different and our mm -hmm. eyes are different and our ear shapes are different and where we've lived has been different mm -hmm. we like to do different things too I'll bet yeah but probably some of the same things too mm -hmm. but it's good to be different mm -hmm. makes us unique you guys know what unique means that means special and specially created so what makes you special? What makes me special? 
Well, I think my family has made me special because the people that I grew up with, I think that, um, you know, I love music and I love to sing. I think that makes me special. And you're really good at that, too. Oh, well, that's awfully kind of mm -hmm. you. Yeah. What makes you special? Uh, you know, I think, I think kind of the same thing. My family and all of the different people that, you know, we have, we've come across over the years, I think makes me special. Um, I like to sing, but I'm not really that great at it. But I do like to bake, and I'm, I'm okay Ooh. at that. I'm so glad, because yeah. I like to eat. Exactly. Yes, so does my family. See, so it works that, out. That works out. Of All of the things that were unique, that make us unique, are important. Mm -hmm. And they make yeah. us special. And we need to be different, because that is how we see all of God's wonderful difference in creation in the world. How different and wonderfully and varied it is. We've talked about that here at uh, Celebrate Wonder. Yeah, they even talk about that in the Bible. They do talk about that in the they Bible. Do. Today, our Bible story tells us about two brothers that are born, Jacob and Esau, mm -hmm. to Isaac, who we've been talking about before. Remember, Isaac was the son of Abraham and Sarah that was much promised and, and is a sign of the blessing that God gave to Abraham and Sarah. But now we've moved on in our story to the birth of Jacob and Esau to Isaac. They're twin brothers. But we learn in our Bible story today that even though they're twin brothers and they're as closely related as two people can be, that they are very different. They look different. The way they approach the world is different. They struggle together, all of those things. But we learn that it's important that they are made different and that God has done that on purpose, and that that's really a beautiful and wonderful thing. Just like me and Laura are different, and Laura yeah. the Lamb is different, and you are different and unique and wonderful and fabulous and special and different, just as you are, and that's important, and we love that. Yeah, it's really kind of neat, because Laud talked about that in Small Talk last Sunday, when he was still dressed as a squirrel. Mm -hmm. yeah, you were. Mm -hmm. We saw. Mm -hmm. Well, should we roll the Wonder Cube? I think we should. Okay, I'm going to roll the Wonder Cube. Everybody remember you have a Wonder Cube at home. When you read your Bible story, and we hope that you'll do that together, you and your household, then roll your Wonder Cube to ask some questions. Oh, we did that one last week. I'm rolling different. Oh, we did that one the week before. Okay, here we go. Ah, we're going to go with the green one. I wonder, where did you see God in the Bible story? Hmm, that's a good one. It is a good one. I think we see him where he makes all of us and he makes us all different mm -hmm. that's where i saw him i do too and that um everyone and their uniqueness and difference that just shows how creative god is that's pretty cool you want to roll he's really creative i'm saying okay here we go oh i think we've, we've done that one a lot oh we haven't done Ooh. Them. oh if you could be any character in the bible story what character would you be and why I know who I would want to be. I'd want to be Esau, who in the story gets born first, because I'd want to get out of there first. <laughs> good answer. Thanks. Very good answer. Yeah. Well, I think, I think I'd say the same thing. <laughs> but, you know what? I was the second child in my household, and I kind of liked that. I did. I have an older brother, and I kind of liked being, being the younger one. Nice. So, I don't know, maybe I'd want to be the second child. Maybe you guys can talk about that in your household. Yeah. All of those things that make you different. And what uh, character you'd like to be in the Bible story when you roll your wonder cube. Well, should we pray? I think we should pray before we go on to okay. our video. Let's pray. Let's do it. All right. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For making me special. For making me special. Amen. Amen. Okay, it's time for our Bible story video, so let's get really close and watch and see what we have today. All right. Psst, listen. We kind of forgot to tell a word. We have a new word right now. It was faith, now it's blessing. And that's great for this month of November. So, now you can go watch your Bible story. Bye, guys. Hi friends, I'm Gabby. Come wonder with me. Our Bible story today begins with a blessing. A blessing is something that God provides. God provided an awesome blessing of two children to Isaac and Rebecca. Let me back up for one second and remind you who Isaac is. 
Isaac is the son of Abraham and Sarah. He was promised to them by God, and he was born when they were very old. When Isaac got older, he married Rebekah. Then Rebekah got pregnant. She doesn't have one, but two babies. Isaac and Rebekah named their oldest son Esau and their youngest son Jacob. Even though they were twins, they were each unique from the very beginning. They looked really different. Esau was super hairy and Jacob wasn't. As they got older, they also had their own hobbies and enjoyed different things. Even though they were different, they were both special. This story reminds me of me and my siblings. We are all very different too. I think that sometimes we can forget those differences are an awesome part of who we are. My brother loves football, but I love soccer. My sister's favorite food is spaghetti, but my absolute favorite is tacos. I love theater, and my siblings think it's boring. We are all different, but we are all still family. More importantly, all of us are special and unique. It's hard being different sometimes. We have to remember, though, that even with these differences, we can still be a family, whatever your family may look like. Each of us is special. We have our own looks, we like certain things, and we don't like other things. I think my favorite thing about myself is that I'm a really good friend and I can always think of a fun game for me and my friends to play. We all are unique in our own way, just like Jacob and Esau. Now it's your turn to wonder. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video. It's time now for our craft. Our craft time this time is a little bit different. You can do what we're doing by drawing something or making something. Something that represents you and your uniqueness. What makes you special? You can either draw that or make that or you can walk around your house and you might find something that represents that. Okay, so today I, we talked about this a little bit earlier, I went and I found, it's still Halloween because that's what was in the drawer, a Halloween cupcake liner and a cookie cutter because I love to bake and make cookies. That is something that I truly like to do. So I chose these. Now what I would do is I would put them in a bag. And whoever you're doing this with, maybe your family, your siblings, you'll put them in a bag. And you could even use this bag if you wanted to. So we'd put them in the bag and everyone's going to do that. And then sometime as a family, sit down and pull the items out. You could guess who that item belongs to or you could just take that opportunity to share why that you chose that item and why you think it makes you special. So that's what you're going to do this week. It's almost like a little game. Have fun, guys. Bye. All right, adults. As always, we have a spiritual practice for you this week as well. And it's a special prayer during your, hopefully you'll get a couple of quiet moments during the week a few times and get to share in this prayer. And it's a way to help us, you remember that you two are created a special child of God, unique and blessed, that you are a blessing as well to the world and that all of those gifts that God has given you, that those are a blessing. Remember, this is our faith word uh, this time, so blessing, to help you remember all of that. So I invite you to use the prayer, it's right in your packet this week, and to say it several times. And why don't you say it after me right now? God gave me my smile. God gave me my smile. So that I might know laughter. So that I might know laughter. God gave me these hands. God gave me these hands so that I can serve. So that I can serve. God gave me my voice. God gave me my voice so that I can praise. So that I can praise. God gave me my heart. God gave me my heart so that I might love. So that I might love. Thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God, for giving me a life of blessings. For giving me a life of blessings. Amen.
Amen. So we hope that you'll use this prayer this week, adults, for your uh, prayer time and centering time. Thanks. Okay. Hi, everybody. We are ending our ninth week of Celebrate Wonder. Quick reminder, our celebration chart, don't forget to be filling that out. And we have a very nice prayer. Nice. For our ending? For our ending. For our family spiritual practice together? Yeah. Good. It says explore God's blessings through prayer. Well, it sounds like a great it way does. to do that. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Shall we? I think we should. We shall. Okay. Thank you, God, for different. Thank you, God, for different. Some are short. Some are tall. <laughs> Some play guitar. Some play ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some are quiet. Some make noise. Hooray! Mm -hmm. Some like blue. Some like yellow. Thank, Thank you, God, God for, for different. different. Thank, Thank you, God, God for, for the, the same. same. We all share the stars above. We all share your love. We all feel the sun and rain. We all feel joy and we all feel pain. We are all family and we are all one. Thank you, God, for the same. Amen. Well, thank you, Laurie. Well, thank you, Pastor Meredith. Excellent. We hope that you'll stick around because our song for the day, next, our video, don't forget that uh, we love you and we're glad to get to have Celebrate Wonder with you. And if you need an activity kit and you don't have one for Celebrate Wonder, just let us know in the church office and we'll get that out to you. But have a wonderful week and enjoy the music video. All right. Have fun. See you next week, guys. Bye. Bye. Sometimes you don't move fast enough for me, and I start playing.